hello guys welcome back so in the last video that we have talked about the difference between where let and const right so in this video we are going to see the question that we have talked about how can an object an array still be modified if it is declared as let right so in the interview questions they may ask you can be declare a object an array as a let and uh, can we modify that right because the let feature have we cannot do that right so when you declare an object right when you declare an object as what let right so when you declare an object or array with the let you are defining a reference to that object or array right not the content themselves means you are defining what a reference of that object or array not the content themselves understood this means that while you while you cannot reassign the variable to a new object or array you can still modify the content of the object or array right so whenever you define a uh, object or array with a let so you are defining the reference of that object or array not the content you got my point so let's modify the object how we are going to modify so if anybody want to define uh, uh, object right as a let so he has to write let right then he have to give the name so let's suppose i will write the object name as a person right then we will define its attribute attribute means its uh, content right how like this i'll give johnny okay so uh, there is only one only one uh, attribute let's add one more uh, uh, attribute i'll add one more age age is nothing but 30 let's suppose that we have seen right and uh, we'll define let's remove this one it is not required will remove this one give me one second okay so you got my point we have a object right and this object we have write as a what let right so when we define an object with let we can write like this got my point now we have to modify the object properties even through the person is declared with the let you can uh, still change its properties how we can do that so if you have defined this one right and you want to modify it how will you do that i will write person dot name person dot name and then we will write bob got my point so you can modify the name property here when you write a person dot is right it will become 30 got my point so when you write a object like this you still can modify its uh, properties object properties right so this is called the object properties okay so you can modify it so when you write a console dot log console dot log what you will see here you will see if you write uh, person dot name right what you will see here you will see bob got my point you will see bob when you write is right let's suppose i will change the is to 20 what you will see the is 20 console dot log then person dot is right you will see if you want to add one more properties to the object what do you have to write you will write uh, let's suppose i will i'm going to write here uh right let's a person dot what what do you want to add a property let's suppose i'll add a its job so in the job i will write what engineer okay so i will write engineer so we have add a property engineer if you write the console dot log and then uh, job then you will see engineer right so you have to understand this concept this is very important for that right now we will see uh, the array right 
I hope you understand understand this video, right? See what have we have what we have done here? We have added we have uh, defined the object person. Object person has two properties, name and age. So when we define a uh, object, so you cannot change the uh, object name, but you can change the content of the object. Means you can change the uh, you can say properties, right? As we can see, we have changed the properties here. We have added one more properties, and you can see the latest changes, right? Similarly, we'll see the array now. So let's understand the array. So when we define an array with a let, we will write a let. Then we will define its name. Let's suppose numbers, numbers, and then I will add value one, two, and three. Gotcha? Okay. Then when we define a array with a let, we have to write a let keyword, right? Now we have to modify the array element, and you can change the individual elements of the array. How will you do that? We will write numbers at zero is ten. So now we have we are going to modify it, right? So when you write modify this means at index zero. This is index what zero. This is index one, and this is index two. So we want to update this value. We want to cut this value. We want to put here ten. So the new array will look like what? Ten, uh, two, and three. You got my point? So if you write the console dot uh, console dot log, you will see numbers. Right? You will see this array. You got my point? If you want to update the array you want to reassign the variable let's suppose so while you while you cannot modify the content of the object and array you can not reassign the variable itself to a new object or array means if it is declared with a const with the let you can you can reassign the variable to the new object or array right but you cannot still cannot do with the const right so if you write the const you cannot do that right but if you write a uh, name right you can update these things right so when we are you are doing reassigning the variables right you can modify the content of the object and array but you cannot reassign the variable itself with a new object and array that that you have to see you cannot do do reassignment right you cannot do that this part you cannot change you can only change this part you can change what my point so if you uh, summarize the whole topic in the last video and this video so we can say like we have let const and where so let allows modification of the content of the object array but allows reassignment of a new object and array but in the constant when we use const it prevent reassignment of the variable but allows modification of the content of the object and array so this is the major difference between you can say where and let you cannot reassign redefine right or reassign the value right in the let but you can do in the where so thank you guys thank you for watching this video i will see you in the next lecture thank you thank you for watching this video